Hey guys, howdy do. I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today I want to share with you how I make my drumsticks. I, um, as a shaman, do a lot of drumming and um, I'll drum for uh, my meditation. I drum um, for healing uh, myself and others. I drum um, for different practices and rituals um, honoring um, nature and the earth. And there's, within shamanism, there's a lot of drumming, so uh, it's always fun to make drumsticks. Um, so I wanted to kind of share that with you, but this video, it would take a really, really long time if I sat here and made a drumstick in front of you, at least the way that I do them, because for me it's more of a spiritual oh, art practice, I guess. Um, so every stick that I make usually is very different um, and just kind of comes to me as I'm sitting there uh, putting it together. So I don't want to sit here and, and do that in front of you. Um, so I have a link um, that has the step-by-step -step instructions with pictures on kind of how to make um, how to make your own drumstick. And this is just um, me kind of talking you through it, I guess. So the two together should, should keep you covered, okay? So when I first got my drum, here's my drum, um, and it came blank, I did the painting, um, and it came with this drumstick, and I painted the green stripes on the drumstick too. Um, but it's got a really nice beat. So I've never been unhappy with this drumstick. It's just the crafty part of me that wants to um, create new things. So anyway, I want to dissect this one. I finally did it the other day. So it comes with um, this little little sack, I guess, that you just kind of put over the top. And then this is just foam. And it feels like, I don't want to take that off, but it feels like this, um, the stick is maybe just a little smidge wider in here. Uh, like there's maybe a little wooden ball in there and then the foam on that and then it had the felt attached. So that's really all you need to do a drumstick. So you can make your own out of whatever you can, you know, find around. Um, but what I've been doing lately is finding uh, branches, or my husband brings them back for me a lot too, because um, he's always up in the woods. And so, you know, when they feel good, when they feel like a good, uh, that they're really strong and they feel like um, they fit well in your hand, then that's, that's, I think, the key to knowing this could be a good drumstick. That's actually step one for me, is checking out the ergonomics of the branch. <laughs> so if it feels good in your hand, then um, you know you can kind of go from there, okay? Um, so then s once you get the branch that you want, step two would be to um, put something on the end of it. Um, now I have been using super balls on the ends um, or just uh, making like a ball of dryer lint wrapped in um, felt. Um, you just need like a wad of something. Uh, and, then, and then just kind of hot glue it or attach it with twine onto the end of here. Okay, um, so then after you do that, you want to take, you, so you'll have your, your wad of whatever it is attached to the end of your branches here. Then you want to take a piece of felt or a piece of cloth. It could just be an old t-shirt. It could be an old kitchen towel, um, whatever. Whatever you have lying around, I guess the best thing is just not to go out and buy something. <laughs> so repurpose something if you can, something that you would typically get rid of. Maybe you can use it in here. Um, and it's just going to act as a cushion uh, in a sense. And then over that, you will then um, cover it with whatever you choose to cover it with. Uh, it could be a piece of leather. Um, it could be uh, a scarf. It could be some pretty fabric. It could be whatever you want it to be. Okay. So there's really no right or wrong. It's just a very creative thing. So I wanted to share with you a couple that I made recently. Um, this is see that. This is one that I have. It has a super ball inside and then um, I wrapped it with felt after over that and then this is a piece of uh, leather uh, and and that's kind of one of the tricky things if you're using leather you really cannot just produce one drumstick after another. It's very um, each piece of leather is different to work with, I guess. So you just have to sort of play around with it and see how it fits. So um, it's kind of a neat process. 
So leather there, and then I just had some leather twine that I sort of um, secured it on there with and glued a crystal. It's, it's actually wired on there. Um, and then on the bottom, I made like, these are crystal beads, but I've wired them so that it'll act like a rattle. So when I hit it, you're getting the drumstick on the drum, but you're also getting the, the rattle. So it adds a layer of depth. And this just feels super comfortable to me. The um, ergonomics of it are, feel really, really good. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one because it kind of matches my, can you see that? Kind of matches my drum. So anyway. So it's a higher tone than, um, than the original. So I'm liking the original bass better for meditation, but there's some practices where that higher tone could be could work out better. Okay, and then just a couple other ones. This one's really long, um, and I'm actually not done with it. It's got scraps hanging all over it, but um, this one I did. I used the Super Ball in there again and wrapped it in some felt. As you can see, it's kind of lopsided because the end of the branch had these like um, little fingers, and I kind of placed the Super Ball in there, so it's super secure. Um, but it doesn't have to be super um, symmetrical. You know, that's kind of the beauty of it. You work with the stick and you work with the leather and whatever pieces that you have together. Um, and this is another one that I've done. This was a different kind of, I think this is deer skin and it's just very, very flexible and stretchy and just feels really good. It feels good in your hands. I put a little holder down there too. So this one. ball of dryer lint and then um, put it in felt but anyway so that's kind of what I've been up to um, I'll be making more but like I said um, check out the step-by-step -step instructions and you can do it if you can go out and find yourself a branch and some scraps um, you can make a drone stick so it's pretty cool all right namaste I was just gonna say oh my god I love you I said bye I love you okay bye I love you <laughs> namaste have a great day